Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer here and I am coming to you today to do um, to share an incoming swap that I did with V who you guys all know as Buzzing with V here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. This is a Valentine's Day swap that we did um, and um, so yeah I'm just going to share what she sent in. But what I wanted to do first was let you guys see the whole um, box and how beautiful she decorated this. So let me see if I can um, get the whole thing in for you guys to see. And isn't this gorgeous? So I just, like I said, I wanted you guys to see this and um, I will be right back. I'm going to take everything out of the box and um, then we'll share everything be back okay I'm back I took everything out of the box and wanted you guys to see all of this um, I'm going to stop again and take everything off and then just pull one thing at a time to share because I don't have a lot of space to have all of this and be able to share what I'm what she sent to me so I'll be right back Okay, I'm back guys. I decided to leave um, a few of the things on. So what I decided to do was start with the flat stuff first and then work my way up to the more um, bigger, bulkier stuff. So um, for this swap, when um, I first init um, initiated this swap with V, it was, um, I had wanted to do a Valentine's Day swap and I wanted to challenge ourselves to do everything in um, black, black and black, white and pink. So um, when she when she sent off <clears throat> her box, excuse me, when she sent off her box, she said she apologized that she could not. Um, she found it really hard to do the black and white and and the black and white and pink. So um, she apologized, and um, so yeah, um, I don't, I don't. Um, I'm sure you guys will see my video after I post hers because um, I received mine before she received hers, and so um, my project share. You will see that it is a Valentine's Day. As I opened it up and pulled this out, I'm seeing a lot of spring and Easter stuff from V which I am totally excited about. Um, but when I, I started my with her a long time ago, and so mine is Valentine's Day stuff, because I was thinking um, that I was gonna be, we were gonna be able to exchange um, our stuff for Valentine's Day. And um, over the course of time, she had prior engagements and just um, couldn't make it to mine. So like I said, I'm excited to see that I have a lot of spring and Easter stuff and V. I'm so sorry that mine is all Valentine's Day still. Um, but like I said, I had already started a lot of mine um, thinking I was going to get it to you like the week, um, the week after Valentine's Day. So again, I apologize and let me go ahead and get started because this is absolutely beautiful. She um, really outdid herself. Um, we had agreed to do six um, embellishments, um, a 3D project, a sequin mix, and um, um, two store-bought goodies. And I don't remember it all because it's been so long. And I am just ecstatic over what I am seeing here. So I'm going to just go right on in and share um, I think what I'll do is do this in two parts um, and then post them two separate days because there's just so much to go through. So first I want to share this um, trim sample that she sent me and this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm so excited about this. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. She had this flag that was in there and oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And a, not a lot, but um, some of this stuff I have seen her share, whether it was on her Instagram 
or on um, her doing her design team projects. I saw a few things in there for um, Scrap Diva 29. So I saw her share some of these and I'm excited that it came to me. So uh, she's got a little charm on here with one of the garden parties and it looks like she used garden party on a lot of it too. So I know like this house and the butterfly and the flower here is from garden party and this is from garden party. So pretty. So she's got the pom-pom trim and some black and white um, buffalo plaid there. And then she's got this. This is actually a clothes pin. So, so neat. Love it. Okay, and so then I will open up this one. And this one actually, um, I want to say comes from Bloom. The Hello Darling. I'm not sure where this is, the Love You is from. But it is so pretty. And um, so let me go ahead and open this. See what's inside here and then she's got this these clips I believe are from the garden party collection too I think I have these yeah so that clip the gold the gold clip is part of the garden car party collection Let me bring this up so there you go and let's see what's inside the envelope oh my goodness some memory dexes and I do remember her sharing this I love how she stitches everything. And I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. But look at the sequence. And she stitched through the sequence. And she's got the ripping and a paper tassel on there. So these are just blank um, memory dexes that I can use to decorate. So pretty. Love. And this one is really, really pretty. It looks like she made the little flower and sewed through that. I wonder if she sewed that or if that is hand sewn there. Do you guys see that? So pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for this, V. And uh, here are some rosettes that are on some clips. This would be perfect to put on a back topper. And I love how she decorated this card. And, um... Look at how neat. This one came ripped off, but she's got, she had the paper, like a little loop there that this was on. But like I said, it ripped. But what I was getting at is she used the um, stickers, the clear stickers, and just put it on there. And that is so pretty. And then you can see how she's got that one on there. But she's got a rosette on the back there, and it looks like it's, mm, yeah, I think it's the Tim Holtz rosettes. Sorry, it's just keep falling out of my hands. Um, but so pretty. This may even be a three-part video. Um, because she's just got so much going on here that I don't want to miss out. She's got one of... Um, she's got a bead here that is so pretty. It's got. I'm trying to turn it so you guys can see, but it won't stay. It looks like a little flower in the center, and there's this little butterfly here. She's got some gold leaves back there. A tiny little gold heart in the middle of this flower. And these are all chipboard pieces here. And we all know that V's famous for stitching her chipboard and she's just um, an expert at this. So there's one and here is another one basically the same thing but just different chipboard pieces beautiful and this is super chunky wow love it oh my gosh and look at the little flowers there how stinking cute are those oh my gosh they're beautiful so thank you so much for that v and um these are just, she embellished the chipboard pieces that are like the Polaroid frame. And then she's got the um, a rosette clipped onto here as the bag topper. And she's got the, um, the gold embroidery 
with the uh, sequence on there and then some tool on there too. Choose Happy, so pretty. And I absolutely love this idea. This is beautiful. So she's got a dangle on here and there's butterflies and the tassel. And then this is a butterfly here. And oh my goodness, just so much. I'm just like floored, just floored at the beauty and all of this. She's got the um, seam binding stitched on there and the flower in the center. I love this flower. If this is a, um, a die, I would really like to know because I love the little ruffles on the end of that. those. If this is a die or a punch, I, I, I need this. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, and then I'm going to share what's in here. Look at how cute she's got this tied up in the little acetate box. Sorry for the glare on that one. But let me go ahead and open that up and let's see exactly what's inside here. It looks like, um, I remember her sharing these little uh, crochet flowers. But look at the little jar that she's got this in. It's a little plastic jar. And she has done tutorials on how she covers the lids of her jars, but she's got a clear little, oh, completely out of frame, clear little um, sticker on the jar there. And then she's got that layered up on some rosettes and on foam. And these are all chipboard pieces there. And these are all from the Garden Party collection. So in here, oh my God, they're tiny little hearts. Oh my God, look at how cute. These are gorgeous. Wow, I love it. Thank you so much for that, V. And um, I wish I could craft like you do. So uh, I have um, a lot of inspiration and... Um, um, just a lot of inspiration here and I can can see how she did things and learn from this and this is awesome oh my god <laughs> look at this that is gorgeous get in frame please she's got a sequin mix glued onto the clothespin beautiful and then this is a bag topper that comes from um Scrap Diva 29, so cute, love it. And then she turned it into a shaker. And I have this die, I don't know if I did the shaker. I don't think I did the shaker because I used it on a, on a swap. I don't think I did, no. So, so cute. And then here, I'm not gonna open this up, but these are all ribbon tassels and they are beautiful. She's got black butterflies. So she did go with the, um, she, she tried here with the pink and white and um, black on here. <laughs> but um, on the back of there, it says lovely. And this is, again, the garden party. The paper is the garden party collection and the sticker. Beautiful. Okay, friends, I am going to stop here because the video is going to be really long. And I will be back tomorrow with a, with um, some more. So until then, I just hope everybody stays healthy and safe and may God bless. Bye-bye.